Hi everybody, this is V and welcome to Designs by V. I am showing you the finish console table from start to finish. Stay tuned to the end to see the finished product. Hi everybody, this is V and welcome to Designs by V. Today I am going to finish up the piece, um, the console table. And I'm just showing you what it looks like before. I yeah I'm just showing you what it looks like before what you're looking at here is the bottom the bottom of the console table I peeled off all of the um, tile the tile that was on it and as you see I kind of scrub off look like it was wet before and dry rot this piece here see right here this is broken when I got the piece it was leaning because of this hole right here but and the back was all black it had mold on it I realized it had mold on it so I went ahead and bleached it and scrubbed it down with water and this is what we have now so I cut this piece of wood here this piece of plywood I cut it and now I I am going to what I'm going to do first is put some paint down on this and then add glue to it and then screw it in place so this this is a perfect cut for this I had to add another piece and then I will go ahead and show you how I was able to put this together so I'm gonna go ahead and paint put some paint on the bottom and on the top of this. Because I don't like how it's discolored. Even though I'm not going to see the bottom of it. But for my sanity for my sanity I want to paint it up a bit. I should put water in this paint. It's a bit thick. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then come back. I am back. And what I'm showing you here is the metal piece. It's right now, it's turned upside it down and I have my mop bucket and my bleach and a bit of um, dish liquid and I am going to scrub this piece down because it came from someone home and you know all homes are not created equal so it has like a lot of stuff on it like cobwebs and God alone knows what but I'm going to go ahead and clean it up and uh, I'm going to come back and show you. So I am washing this piece down. To get a lot of the grime off of it. It is upside it down. And I'm going to try to get in all the creases and the crevices so now in my old in my old mop bucket I'm gonna make like a um gonna make like some soap water 
and a bit of bleach see a bit of bleach and scrub that bad boy down wash it down a little bit more Turn off the pipe here, and like I said, I'm gonna scrub this all down, and then I will come back to you. So I am finished washing the piece down. I'm gonna give you the measurements on it because this is a pretty big piece. Um, heavy. It is um, steel, steel, and the flowers is in wrought iron and I'm gonna give you the measurement to the top of this this is the I don't know if you could see it but one second what are we doing this is the top to this and if I can't lower you anymore okay you could see that broken area on it I want to break the whole thing off like I did the other piece but because I am moving in the next few more months because I will go ahead and retile this um, this is one piece of slate or whatever it is but I will put some subway tiles on this eventually. But for now, I'm going to just fix this area right here with some... I have some plaster pirates downstairs. And it has like... Let me show you. Some broken areas up here too. I just really like the piece for the wrought iron. And I know with the wrought iron, I could make this piece into what I wanted it to be so it wasn't a problem for me getting it because I know I could make it look brand spanking new so let me finish up the other piece and then I'll come back to you so as you've seen the um, bottom piece is dry it has two four six holes in it and this is the piece that I cut to fit on it so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and lay the piece on here it was a perfect cut And you can't see it but let me take you back there is a piece missing actually let me do it like this see there's a piece missing right here so I cut this piece for it to put it in place and I'm going to adjust this and bring this in and let me see So I, I have my screws here so I'm going to go ahead and drill this down and then show you the next step that I'm going to do. This is what I have all my clothes under here and then I got my onesie over it. 
because it's a bit cold outside but I wanted to do this I didn't want the new year to come and I have projects that are not finished not only that right after the new years I am going on vacation so I wanted to take care of this so let me go ahead and drill this and come back Need to go charge my drill. <laughs> Hi everybody, I am back. I now I'm wearing cowboy boots because my shoes got wet and that was the first shoes I could have grabbed. But what I'm doing here right now is fitting the piece to the bottom of the wood of the base I meant. And I am going to fasten it down with a few screws and uh, getting it to attach to the bottom. So I could go ahead and finish up the piece. So there's an extra piece to the top that when I got the wood, it was in a long continuous long piece so I had to cut an extra piece to add to the side so that's what I'm doing right now I'm fastening that end and so far I think that I'm doing a good job so what's going to happen I am going to realize that I wanted to put some wood glue down so I'm going to remove the bottom again the piece of wood that I, piece of plywood that I just screwed down. I am going to add glue to the bottom of it to get a tighter seal, like to bond the two pieces together. So I am finished adding the glue and now I'm screwing the piece back. Now I am taking the screws out of the longer piece and I am adding the wood glue to all corners of it and now I'm going to get a piece of stick and sort of rub the glue all over it to create a tight bond. That's what I'm trying to achieve. So, you know, I want the piece to be permanent. So I'm trying to do everything to make it stay the way that I would like for it to be. So now I'm adding the screws back. And yes, I am still in a onesie and a hat. I know I look funny. <laughs> but I have on my clothes under it. I just came from outside. And I did not feel like changing clothes. So I put on my outside onesie. My backyard and um i am fastening it down and um i am so happy that i'll be able to complete that piece i did not want a new year come and i have projects lingering around trying to get it all together so i am i think i'm still putting the screws down on it and fasten it and now I'm going to go ahead and drill the holes to put the piece of wrought iron on 
So I am changing the drill, the bit to a screw bit. Oh, I don't know the proper name. You know, to drill the holes through. I think it's a drill. But a drill is a drill. I'm sorry. I'm having a debate with myself. Anyhow, I am going to drill the holes. And I'm looking to see if it pierced through. And I'm going to go ahead and finish up the holes. And... um so I could go ahead and put it on the piece and I am finished with the hole drilled in and now I'm showing you some wood glue, wood um, filler that I got from the Dollar Tree. But then I realized that I, it will take too much wood filler. So I'll go ahead and use some compound and fill in the areas and including the smaller piece that I cut up there to make it one cohesive piece. Right there you're looking at the broken tile uh, marble I meant and I'm going to fill in that area to and then smoothen it out but then I realized my compound is too hard so I went and got my two dollar goodwill find and yes it's tacky but I'm doing it because I need to finish this project and I'm going to mix it up and then um, fill in the areas and get it ready to finish off and here I am pouring the stuff on top of it to get it ready the compound to get it ready so let me show you this to fill it in you see this is another broken area in here and what I'm doing is I'm taking the putty and trying to get it in the creases trying to push it down in the creases so it could um, get stuck in the creases and then what I'll do is just sand it down to make sure that it doesn't have it's like all even um, some of the areas are loose so I just go ahead and just take it out so I will come back to you again once I finish smoothing it out because I'm using one hand and talking to you. I am here working in the dark. Here is the piece. As you see, it's a darker wrought iron. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use like three sets of paint. Um, bronze, gold, and copper. And sort of like from a distance spray it randomly so whenever the light hit it is going to have a beautiful effect so this is the piece upside it down i am getting ready to finish it tonight so here is the other piece this is the top that you're looking at with the white and the patch here is the piece that was broken that looked like this piece look up look at my hands look i'm working girl and right here so i'm getting ready to sand it down and do like a type of treatment on it so it all look alike this is the piece here that was broken that's the bottom and you see where where i add the extra piece of wood i'm gonna sand it down and do another treatment on it and paint it and i was gonna tile it but it will be too heavy when I'm moving and it may chip so I will wait till I move I put the holes in there for the piece see I already drilled the holes and the next thing you're gonna see is how I put it together hey my lovely people this is me and I'm still at this I didn't get to do anything to it last night because it got a little dark so what I'm doing now is I have three cans of spray this is gold one this is a metallic gold finish and this is a silver one and what I'm gonna do is just randomly just add 
pray to the peace because I wanted to have a metallic look, but not really. I don't even know what that means. But let me show you what I do. I hold it like a couple inches away from the piece and I just begin to just spray randomly. Just away from it and just randomly. And I have the piece upside it down. So how it look right now is not how it's going to look once I um, finish it off. So this is what I'm going to go ahead and do. And you could tell like it's picking up some of the gold already. Just in like sparse areas. So I'm going to go ahead and finish it off and then come back. So I am finished spraying the piece off. And so far I like the way it looks. So... I'm going to put the, t <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to put the um, bottom on it because I told you the bottom was all cracked and broken and um, it had water damage so I had to replace the wood with a new piece of wood and um, I had to join it on the top side that's right here I had to join it here but then I closed the seam out and as you see it is seamless what you see here is like the hole and I did a treatment on here to look like the full finish marble so let me get this piece on here and then I will come back and show it to you so now I add the bottom onto it and it's upside it down like I told you. I'm waiting for my boys to get back to flip it over for me. I'm going to screw it down and wait for the boys to get home and then flip it over for me. And once I take it inside, I will let you see the madness that I did. <laughs> so I will be back to show you the product all put together. Let's hope it look right. So this is the finished product. This is what the table looks like. I am going to take you in and show you what I did. So as I told you, the bottom of it, that's the wood right here, was broken. And the piece was lopsided, so I replaced the whole bottom of it and uh, replaced it with a piece of wood that I cut and then I sort of full finished the wood to kind of look like marble. But I did a technique on the side end that I don't think I like it now so in the future I will redo this piece the reason why I didn't tile the bottom is because as you know I'll be moving in the next few more months and I just thought it'll be heavy and I didn't want it to get damaged let me show you the top this is the top of it and this is the marble some of it is still cracked but like I said, I'm not going to go ahead and do anything more to it. When I move, I could knock the whole thing apart and take as long as I could. This part right here, it was broken to the wood. And I filled it in and used a full finish technique to discolor the white area. So... As you see, see right here, there's some cracks that I filled in. But like I said, after I move, I'm going to put the whole thing together. So that's the finished product. This is, a matter of fact, the wooden full, full finished piece looks better than the top. Look at it. 
this whole bottom, I refinish that. And then look at the top. And then look at the top. So I think I have an idea of what I'm going to do in the near future. But I will keep you in tune of whatever I decide to do with it. Tell me what you think about the piece. I just love it because of the wrought iron. Like, look all that detail. All of that detail. I wish they took better care of it. But if they took better care of it, it might have been more money. I only paid $35 for this piece. And I thought I think that the wrought iron is the best thing on it. So, this is V. And being Bob the Builder... <laughs> Hope you like. Bye-bye. Everybody, I know that I ended the video, but I just want to show you this. This is my two-year-old. His name is Edgar. No, he is 14. And he is at a 5'8". And look how far the piece comes up. It's a massive piece. And I absolutely love it. So this is Edgar's debut on camera. Look at his little leg. Look at his little leg. Look at mommy little baby. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yes. So this is a massive piece. And I, like I said, I love it. I love it. I love it. So in the future, we're going to have another project with it because I don't think I give it a hundred percent. Bye bye. Love you guys. Merry Christmas. Please like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell that when I upload videos, you'll be one of the first to be notified. Thank you so much for watching Designs by V.